Hey everybody, uh, this is Cyphering again, back from the, uh, the Double Dragon 3 and Kung Fu Kid run earlier. Uh, this time now, I'm going to be playing uh, Keep Courage in Alpha Zones. Um, so, with that said, hold on one second here. Okay. Yeah, alright, I'm gonna hit timer in three, two, one, go. Wait, that did not work. Let's try it again. <laughs> so, let's try this again. Thank you for the good luck, everybody. Three, two, one, go. So, for anyone not familiar with this game, this, uh, from my understanding, at least in the, the U.S., was a launch title for the Turbo Graphics 16. Um, I think it came packaged with the, the Turbo Graphics 16. Um, I don't know if that's the case in Japan though, or uh, anywhere else. The Turbo Graphics 16 or the PC Engine was released. Uh, it's broken up into. Uh, this overworld level, which is bright and colorful and such, and then this underworld level where you transform into this Nova suit, and this is where the game gets pretty exciting. Uh, the gameplay becomes faster, unlike the, the, the upper world or whatever it is. Uh, the enemies become more fierce, and uh, we have various bosses that we have to take on. As, as I'm playing through this, you'll see me uh, stop to attack certain enemies, like these guys with the, the pistols for a hit, because I'm trying to sort of level up. You gotta do some grinding in this game to uh, get like ma uh, increase your max hearts that are in the upper left corner. Uh, as well as if I were to have bombs, like I just picked up that number three there. If I have bombs, that means I can shoot out like three bombs at once. Uh, there's only one boss in this game that I really use the bombs for. If I if I get them by that point, then great. If I don't, then we'll just keep it rolling. Uh, but hopefully, as I continue through this play, I can uh, level up my hearts as well as level up my gold that I have at the top there, um, so I can purchase the better swords. Okay, I wasn't expecting to hit right there like that. So here's our first boss here, our first set of boss, bosses. <laughs> yeah, he becomes an SD gun on this, right? So now we're, yeah, we're back to the, the overworld, nice and cheery and colorful. Or we can skip to our loo here. Uh, I wonder if there's a help. Okay, yeah, I'm, oh, I don't even know. We might end up dying. Hopefully not, but we'll see. I get through this area that all of a sudden the land is flipped upside down, the sky is on the ground, the ground is in the sky. I'm gonna try to grind in the next underworld section and hopefully get some health here. <laughs> Skipping feels good, man. <laughs> This, the music on this stage is probably my favorite song in the entire game. I love this song. It just gets me amped up. Ooh, I forgot that this stage is evil though. I gotta be really careful. Drop me a heart. Thank you. And we love we leveled up, I guess you can say. You take this safe because usually this is a, a, a trap there. You jump across that guy will spawn and you will fall right into the, the spikes. We're okay now. Go ahead, take him out. 
The jumping in this game is a bit weird in that um, you're, you're sort of like as you're going up you have control of your jump but then like if you stop in the air you're sort of stuck there like your, your momentum doesn't go any, uh, go any further. So basically on, on the ascent um, you can control at least I guess the, the distance, I, I'm trying to think of how to say it. Give me a four in the morning. <laughs> but uh, I think, yeah, you can control like how far you jump, but once you start to come back down, then you have no more control over your, your jump. So you're, you're pretty committed to your jumps. This level here, this level uh, has these lucky cats that come down from the sky. I'm gonna farm these for a little bit here just to increase my money. As, uh, as you kill so many, uh, like a red or a golden lucky cat comes down and it, it'll drop a gold piece that's worth a whole lot more. I think uh, like 200 gold in total when it drops it. But so far we're getting some good farming here. I wish I picked up that little gold piece that was off to the right there, but I was unable to. Farm it just a little bit more, and also hope and pray that I don't die um, later on in the game because when you die, you lose basically half your gold. So, uh, you just, I just want one more to drop. All right, I'm gonna keep moving just to keep things rolling. And yeah, jump across these. Lava pits here. Anybody that's a sub, spam your yeah, RG lava emote. So this right here is the best farming spot for gold. It's just the the golden cats don't drop over here. So I just wanted to pick up a few, just sort of get out ahead with the the amount of gold that uh, I could get. And now I just start going crazy picking out these lucky cats. And it's unfortunate that there's no other place like this in the game that you can just go crazy on the cats here. But as you see, the, the money is racking up. To give you an idea like how much money we should have towards the end of the game, I think the best sword that you can get, I think, is around 4,800. Or at least the best sword that we want to complete the game. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm about to purchase a sword here in, from this little hut. I don't need to, but just for a marathon safety, I'm going to. As you, as you purchase swords, um, it, not only does it uh, increase the damage that you do, but it increases the length of the sword. Guy reminds you of Gunstar Heroes a lot. He, d he does look like a uh, red from Gunstar Heroes. <laughs> That's a great call out. I'm gonna cost a lot again. We're gonna go in here and get some health. And nice Nancy. Across the perilous, perilous lava here. Alright, and now off to the next underworld section. Oh, so this was the PC engine in France as well? Okay, cool, cool. Alright, so we'll go ahead and still farm a few of these enemies hopes that if I drop a heart like that and it'll increase our max health. Ooh, that is almost bad because I think there's spikes on there. I forgot what stage I was on. <laughs> Alright. Well, I'll just do more hearts. Go ahead. 
gonna take that out. Let's see that. Let's try to max out some teeth. You do with that. Going to these guys here. Yeah, I think we can drop. All right, good. There we go. So we did get a max health increase on that guy. Watch out for uh, the disappearing boat, uh, platforms. They can be really evil. Now we have this guy in the top hat who likes to teleport, but if we can kill him quickly enough, he won't have a chance to. He teleported probably once there. Okay. Fourth stage. Now, this stage, uh, the underworld part is probably my hardest stage, so I'm really hoping that I can get through it nice and nice and clean, nice and smooth. We'll see though. <clears throat> We're gonna just uh, continue straight through. Um, we shouldn't have to stop in any of the buildings here. I'm not gonna purchase any other sword upgrade and such. I just feel like that I just lost a heart. I swear I had more hearts than that. Okay, watch out for this part here. In any of the upper world sections, that's probably the most dangerous thing you have to watch out for is those platforms and falling into uh, the red spikes. And slight damage boost there. Trying to think. Oh, actually, you know what? We are going to stop from here. I think this is a sword. I, I'm gonna get this because I just remembered the boss uh, for stage four is pretty tough. At least uh, if he runs into you, he does a lot of damage. So back into the Nova suit and back in the underworld. Okay. Woo! That was almost crazy. I'm farm just a little bit. Ouch, jerk. Ouch. <laughs> okay. Coming back. I can never make that cycle for that platform. Take this guy up here hope, in hopes that he drops another max heart upgrade. Because I think, I don't know if it's like, I don't know if you get it by based on how many enemies you take out. I feel like it's certain enemies here and there. Uh, yo, yeah, I, I have a feeling that uh, Spike Pit was there. Here, that's right. And I think down here. Okay. I have to be really careful because this is going to be false. Ouch. I lost a lot of health there. The problem is, is like his hitbox is very deceptive. I'm, I'm taking this really safe. Because um, the, the duck button doesn't always respond to me, at least. Maybe it's my controller uh, being old or whatever. But I don't, I just do not want to get hit by this guy. Alright, good. He's always missing his legs. <laughs> We need to get some health. I stay along the path here. I don't remember where Nancy is. And they try to 
get you really good by having enemies appear like just as you're jumping over pits and stuff. Take that boost there. And also drop drop the gold piece, so that's good. And then skip, skip. Alright. Um oops. Oh man, see but I was too quick to go through the text. Yeah, you can say this is the mini TurboGrafx-16 block. <laughs> well, part of, yeah, my estimate originally for this game was really high. Um, ooh, crap! Um, but I was able to get it pretty low before the start of the marathon. But at that point, um, like the, the schedule for uh, the TG16 games was set, so you all get a, a mini mini TurboGrafx-16 block here with the, the tail end of Retro Time. Whoop! Oh, Alright. Kinda of think, am I supposed to buy it? No, I don't need to buy a sword here. We just need to... No! Cool! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was scary. I do not want to lose my money right now. That was really scary, though. I think I am going to farm a little bit here. Let's see if we get a gold cat. I forget the spots where the, the gold lucky cat comes up. I don't think it's here, though. Eh, whatever. Alright. And... This Underworld... I'm trying to think, what's the... I think this one tries to trip you up where... Um, where spikes might appear. Uh, but otherwise, I think the... The boss, the bosses for the uh, boss for this level, sorry, is a, a refight pretty much with two previous bosses at the same time. Go ahead, take this guy out here. Come on, drop a heart. All right, we're gonna take this slow. Because I can go right into that pit if I'm not careful. Go right into that pit like that. Okay. Come on, drop another heart for me. A friend of mine said this this enemy reminds him of like a, a doctor, and I didn't I didn't think about that until like looking at his projectiles that he shoots. They, they look like needles or syringes. Maybe this is some kind of robot doctor, evil doctor. I'm gonna take this safe again. Oh, oh that's bogus. Okay, take it safe. Ooh, cool. Drop. Uh, oh yeah, we do want to go right. Ouch, ouch. We'll take that guy out. Okay, he had nothing good for us. Uh, don't fall straight. Yep. And go all the way to the left. I do remember that. I I died on those spikes so many times. <laughs> Now we gotta fight again two bosses that we fought before. Oh, 
I lost, uh, I lost some extra health there that I didn't want to lose, but I think we can get it back here. And I think this is the second to last stage of the game. Uh, I'm going to try to farm a little bit to hopefully get that 4800 uh, gold. Thank you, weapon. Get that 4800 gold that I need for the, the best sword that we want in the run. Hopefully we get some gold cats here or they decide to drop more gold than what they're doing. Ooh, we can... Alright, we can sort of combine this here. Oh, there's one. Oh man. For some reason when the, the gold cat uh, red gold piece spawns, it causes every other gold piece to disappear on the screen. So you gotta like... Sort of... Pick up the other, the regular gold, pretty quickly. Come on. That's gonna happen again. Come on. Keep, keep it coming. I'm running the RNG with the money is pretty pretty good. This here I would say is not that great. Come on, come on. Almost there. I continue forward, I should uh, run into more enemies that I can take out and and get health. I mean, not health, get gold from them. <laughs> yeah, this, the overworld again is much easier than the underworld, but they still really like to set you up for some doozies. Uh, actually, I do want bombs on this level. This is the level where bombs actually will become handy. i take this little safe bait that. Nurse should be coming up. That's not the nurse. Pull it down just a little bit there. That's not the nurse. Please don't. Okay. It is the nurse, but she only had something to say. Not anything, not, you know, wasn't trying to heal me. Here we go. This is what we really want. Hold it down just in case an enemy spawned on me as I was making that jump. Pretty much, I gotta get back up to 4800 now. So then I can get the sword towards the, the tail end of the level. Jump is a little, a little scary there too. I think that's the nurse again. I think this is... This might be the, the sword master or weapon master. Yeah. Alright, so I need to need to grind here just a little bit. Hopefully guys are Kind to me. Drop some money. Um. 
Alright. Think that's enough. Okay. So now we got... I think... I feel like it's the strongest sword because on the next stage, which is the final stage, you get the option to buy another alpha sword, but it costs like 5200 or something like that. And I, I end up just skipping that sword. So I think this is, this might be the, the same as the, the last stage sword. Right in here. Just to hopefully increase our hearts. Enemies can't come near us. Did that hurt? Did it increase? I think it did. Oh, and now some of the bosses that we fought previously uh, have become normal enemies. As you saw that that one guy just took out. Uh, we need to go to the left. Here, if we go. Oh man, I hate that it did this. Okay, we're okay. Uh, okay. This way. Come on, wait for that platform to disappear. No. And I think we fall down here. Oh, I went the wrong way. Okay, I was supposed to go over, I think, go to the right over two, then fall down the pit. Oops, I just wasted some bombs. That safe. Alright, now drop down here. Left. Drop down here. If we go right. Yep. I know to go right because then I... I remember this guy, he's sort of like a landmark for me. Got that heart. Uh, Alright, we're just gonna chill there for a second. Drop down here. Alright, and boss time. Now this is the reason why bombs are helpful here, because I can just shoot this guy right here without him even trying to come up to me. But I just got knocked into him. And we took him out. So now this is the final upper world stage. So keep going to the right, hopefully get some gold so that we can get some health. Now we have these conveyor belts to worry about too. For some of the jumps. Oh, what a jerk. I don't know what those rolling things are, but they look like rolling heads to me. I'm not sure though. But okay that we died there because we at least got the sword that we needed. Death only is really bad if we didn't have the sword and we were still grinding for gold. Because at this point I just want 400 gold so I can be Nurse Nancy again. Oof! Wow, we almost got knocked into the pit. <laughs> Ouch. Lucky cats. Lucky cats. Give me some gold. Be my friend. Alright, little grimaces. Be my friend. Drop some gold. <laughs> wow. 
Okay, we're going to keep going because this... Oh, so now I finally want to drop something. Uh, let's keep going. That's so terrible. <laughs> All right, it's fine. We won't let it get us down. We'll continue to skip along merrily. Ouch. I think I've, this is crazy. I've never died this many times on the the overworld here. It's usually the underworld that takes me out. Ouch. Alright, come on. Let's see. Maybe that death like reset the, the coin the gold piece pawns or something. I want it to give it to me. Alright. Uh, I don't remember where Nancy is. <laughs> Going through all that, I don't remember where she where she may be, so. Clearly not these uh huts here. Don't think she's in here. Oh she is, but she has something useless to say. Okay. Down there, just in case we got knocked upside the head by another rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, is this Nancy? This is not Nancy. More, more junk. Please, thank you. This Nancy? Yes, this is, this is the one we want. Okay, now we can make our way to the end here. Alright, last underworld. Let's get to it. Just as we saw uh, conveyor belts in the, the overworld there, or upper world, there should be, I think, conveyor belts down here too. Oh, yep, right there. You go ahead and take that guy out. Hope that I can get at least uh, one more heart upgrade. Up here, I think we go to the left. That nice big jump. Plus those spikes. If you don't jump quickly enough on that conveyor belt back there, you will get pushed right into the spikes. Ouch. I think we go to the right. Uh, I don't remember if I'm supposed to fall down there. I think I am. Yes, we are. And I think we got a, a heart upgrade. Good. Oh, uh, I don't remember how to handle this guy. Let's go ahead, slow it down, take him out. There. Go down here, jump. Jump. You can see they're like throwing all the 
you know, all the stops that you know. Final boss. Ouch. Oh, look at all my health. Oh! Uh, I lost my rhythm here. I'm trying to remember how to fight this guy. Oh, darn it. Okay, I think I remember now. <laughs> Alright, try this again. And yeah, of course, when you die, you have to start all the way back at the beginning. Well, that was my first Underworld death, wasn't it? I think so. And we got the level up. So hopefully this will help in that boss fight again. Well, I did not spawn. Interesting. One through. Thank you. Alright, boss time again. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Ouch. Oh my gosh, I I mucked that up <laughs> so bad. Oh <laughs> wow, it's oh boy. <laughs> Was that shopkeeper shopkeeper Bulma? It she does look like Bulma. <laughs> I think this, I'm, I might have two more tries in this, uh, to come under estimates, but hopefully we can make this the last try. Okay. No hearts. 
And we're coming to the boss again. Alright, here we go, let's try. Oh. Oh, dang. Well, we tried. Um, <laughs> uh, go ahead, keep things rolling here. Sorry that I couldn't keep, keep courage for you all. Um, under the estimate here, but we could try it again another time or so. Yeah, that was pretty brutal. Um, but yeah, thank you all for tuning in. Um, I have one more run in Retrocon, which will be later this morning for me, which is Spider Man vs. Kingpin uh, for Sega CD. So. Hopefully we can do we can get three or four for our runs, and I will I will catch you all later. Thank you, thank you so much.